Stop being so sensitive, bitch. <laughs>
intentions are. Mm-hmm. So I called Pierre, man, and all that shit with that man in a dress, that shit is squashed, thank God, because I ain't, I be so worried about motherfucking a, a nigga in a dress walking up to me playing with me and shit. You know, everybody talks shit about, oh, Corey, you a hypocrite. You you know Flame and all that shit. But let me tell y'all motherfuckers something, man. Flame ain't no regular nigga in a dress. I ain't making no excuses for this shit. If me and Flame got in an argument, the first thing I say is, well, if you don't get your dress wearing ass out of here. But <laughs> that's my nigga, Flame. Y'all motherfuckers don't know, man. Flame is a different type of dude, man. Flame. Flame motherfucking, that nigga, when he told me about his son played, you know, high school ball or whatever, and how he had to switch his shit up. Mm-hmm. He dressed like a man because he didn't want to embarrass his son. That shit actually was some different shit to me. I was like, man, that's some G shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just yeah. saying, like. Yeah, I mean, that's real though. Yeah. I'm an older yeah, guy, man. I Back in the day, I would not be able to be friends with nobody like a man wearing a dress, but I'm older now, so I can, show appreciation to somebody who I feel like is different than me. And doing their thing. Right. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, to me it sounds like your beef mainly is with people that, I guess, aren't coming out. No, people who push they shit on motherfuckers and act like something wrong with everybody who ain't with what they doing. You know what I'm saying? The homie Flame, I don't see him doing that shit. He don't be pushing that shit on no motherfucker. Flame ain't finna be trying to flirt with no nigga he don't know like that. And well, I don't see him mind. doing that shit. And he has an open mind, he makes fun of. He makes a joke that, about yeah. who he really is. Flame used to live with his baby mama and his motherfucking Raised all other his friends, head, yeah. so I'm just saying, like, y'all motherfuckers Good better dude. try to get some pimping in y'all motherfucking life. Flame from the motherfucker. Flame is from Chicago, Illinois, where motherfuckers, we all know how it go, man. Motherfuckers, I'm saying older men and women actually need to try, if you don't try, to make sure shit that can be squashed, get squashed. Now that's some shit out here that can't be squashed. Oh yeah. There's some shit out here you can't fix. Oh yeah. But Once some somebody shit, goes there. if you know somebody, you be like, man, let me call this motherfucker. Call that motherfucker and get to the bottom of that shit. Yeah. Like Marcus, goddammit, that doctor who told him he fixed under his arms. <laughs> you ain't got to kill him, dog. Just let him know, so man. This, we ain't been doing the show five minutes. Marcus' arm already wet. <laughs> He's so dumb. That doctor owe Marcus some money back. <laughs> See, like that motherfucker that was walking you before the show. You got that choker on your dick. <laughs> Corey was on all fours when he got here. Nigga. That's right. <laughs> That's different. It's a little different. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, no, I'm saying let y'all motherfuckers know, man. Somebody said Corey got feelings for flame. Fuck y'all niggas, man. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I just felt like me and Pierre was heading down a path that we ain't need to go down with that man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That, that, that nigga in the dress, yeah, I'm like, get too hey, good. homie. You know what I'm saying? Let's, mm-hmm. let's stop that shit right there because we both OGs. Let me tell you something, when two old, two niggas over 50 fight, that's a sad motherfucking thing. <laughs> Unless you one of them Michael J. White ass niggas. Well, Michael J. White, he a professional fighter. I'm yeah, talking yeah. about two regular niggas that eat hot dogs and shit like that. <laughs> at two 50. Balls. Right. <laughs> Boy, that ain't no, that ain't no good th- sight to see when two old niggas fight. Mm-hmm. Uh, God knows, I don't want to fight Pierre or none of the old niggas. Like, I try to squash shit. I don't want no drama in my life. Look at D. She be getting on my motherfucking nerve. <laughs> I squad shit. I squad shit. <laughs> Motherfucker, it is what so, it so, is. So you be the bigger man with you and D? Yeah, I, I think I'm the bigger <laughs> man. Him? It's me, not him. You tell him you, he the bigger man physically, but not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the bigger man mentally too. Oh, really? <laughs> Look, D, D ain't got no mind. Excuse me? Man, fuck y'all. Yeah. That's about Marcus is Weddy Kruger. Weddy crew. Oh, that's, oh, that's something else. Come on. It is Halloween. The month of Halloween. Hey, boy, your arms wet already, no, nigga. Like, I'm telling you, nigga. Oh, just... You got to sit there through the whole show. It's going to be down here where your stomach at by the time the show over with, that's nigga. dry wetness right there. That's... That nigga said it's dry wetness. <laughs> you want to put on a jacket to hide it? Oh, you know what? I can't. This stupid. Thank you. You get excited. Jones, you get wet, nigga. You like a you like a girl, nigga. I ain't work out this weekend. 
Oh, see, he said, <laughs> when, yeah, he said he's fighting to come out when he doesn't work out. It's like, <laughs> they say kids use Marcus' armpit as a slip and slide. <laughs> anyway, motherfuckers, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something, man. It's so much mm-hmm. shit. It's messy shit that I don't want to be involved in on the messy side of the game, but it's too tantalizing. Take we got to support. talk about it. Is that the word? Tantalizing? That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. this More shit with the brother, the good brother, 50 Cent and his son, this shit is not cool. It's And, and you know what's been going on for a quite some time since the kid was like 10 years old. This is some shit that shows what a bitch made motherfucker is like. You don't disrespect your father publicly about no money. That ain't the first time. I See, I ain't up on a lot of it. I look past it. But now it's to the point where they got some money on the ground. Is that real? They say... You say it was- I forgot what it said. Yeah. It's entitled. 3, 600, 3, 600. entitled. You know, man, you that is your father. How old is that boy? He's 25. Yeah. That's why I was like, why 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 is everybody still talking about this? Because he was getting sixty seven hundred dollars yeah, a month. That's 67. over eighty thousand dollars a year, right? That's Young ridiculous. man, that That's is your crazy. father. He and he said you'll pay him sixty seven hundred to spend a day with him. Like trying, he's trying to reverse he said, the whole oh, thing. The kid, that's what he he's said trying on to the make caption. He said, I'll I, I pay you six or $700 to spend a day with me. I'm so glad you said that, Marcus, because I'm finna say some shit that's about to be all over the internet. I already know it. I already know it, but it's the motherfucking truth, and motherfuckers can act like it ain't the truth, but this is the motherfucking truth. Give me that one more time. What did he say he'll do? He said he'll spend his, he'll give him six or $700 to spend a day with him. This is the son talking to the father? Yeah. Like he, well, basically the public, because he's trying to put that out there on the internet. He put it out there. That's the one where he said it, yeah. Listen to me, um, America. America, please believe me when I tell you this. This is not all men, but I would say it's about 80% of men. If we don't love your mother, we don't really love you, motherfucker. Oh, come Damn. on now. That sound crazy to D. It, well, no. Oh, to me on. too, yeah. I mean, Let me tell you something. Ha- not, not love in that sense, but have some kind Shit. of love. No, 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 no. Listen to me, Darlene. You and all the rest of the people who not used to this shit. Oh, if bro. we don't love your mother, our love for you is hard to, to, to we, we are, we, we love you out of obligation. If it was my. If, oh, that's how I, you feel like. To me, your to me, that that's goes it. for like stepkid, but not my real. Look at D, not D rubbing no. it on me. Well, it but it is a kid. case like that. Let me tell you, if, I, a lot if of we don't like love that. your mother, we don't love you like that. Oh, what we do, terrible. we try to be moral and humane to you little stray fox that she oh, kept. That's so sad. Is your mama going to tell you about how many, boy, you made it out that motherfucking Freddy Krueger boiler room of a womb with your mama. Your mama killed so many of your little brothers and sisters fucking with me. She finally had you, and now I'm supposed to stop everything I'm doing in life mm. for your little ass. Get the fuck out of here. Go over there with your mama, and when you grow up, let's try to build a friendship. Maybe those children that didn't have a relationship with the dad, with both parents, sure. I can sure, understand that maybe. still kids, Cole. But if they were together, well, my, if they were a family. My blood. Different. Listen to what I'm saying. Marcus ain't had no kids, so he don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but he wasn't someone's child. Wait, are you can, you can make it whatever you want to make it. Uh, the nigga dick ain't shot a winner yet. I got a nephew, man. That's my nigga, man. Yo, yeah. nephew, not your, your boy. <laughs> That's my your nephew, that. not your boy. You can't relate to what I'm talking about, Marcus. <laughs> you shooting blanks, nigga. <laughs> I'm talking to all the niggas who got potent dick, not passionate dick, <laughs> potent dick that make other little niggas and bitches. 
<laughs> we don't hate you, but if we don't love your mother, we are trying to accept you. Oh, that's just nobody crazy. says that. Mm -mm. I'm not saying this for every man. Thank I'm you, saying okay. for eighty for percent of the situation. men. Now, Darlene, we know why you feel like you feel. No, because that's ridiculous. Because I don't see that coming from my situation, and and we don't get along, or we didn't, we broke up. What did but that they, man say? But they Go have down an excellent one. relationship. But they it's had a, it from the beginning. Hold on, it say, hold on, you passed it. Just let it go, let it go, go up. Let me see. It say kids are made over. Wait a minute, mm -hmm. <laughs> wait a minute, uh, wait a minute. What did it say? Marcus, Marcus, get, Marcus got Chad. <laughs> they say you. Had oh, oh, you birthed Chad. <laughs> oh, oh, the kid. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. She turned his son against him. That's obvious when a when a when a young man is talking bad about his father. It's, it's bitch raisedness, but I'm saying like, we gotta stop acting like the men in the hood are the bad guys. Your mother, you are here cause your mother's health was in jeopardy if she aborted another one. Mm. That's why you're here. If your mother would have aborted you, oh my God. The doctor was like, are you sure you wanna do it again, bitch? God damn. <laughs> Thank you, Real Ryan. That's what happened. Wait a minute, tell Kanye to come on the show and y'all call Israel United, United Christ, Christ Kingdom. What? Anyway, look, we ain't we ain't gonna always agree on what we say. It's but both. I'm here to tell you. In situations like some that, of these kids, you love them in a way that's not like they your responsibility. Your kid that was kept by a bitch that killed some, you don't love the kid as much as you will because mm -hmm. if she killed one of them, your mind prepares you for the rest of them to die. But then she kept one of them and threw your mind off. you like, oh, he, you kept this one, huh? God damn. <laughs> well, let me act like I like it. This is what be happening in the United States. Mm -hmm. But if you say it, you the bad guy. So 50 Cent is a man of means. I he got it. that paper. He is trying. Look, I it's get, hard to love a motherfucker that don't love you. That little boy ain't showing, even though he twenty something or whatever. Boy. Yeah, that's the lovely. little boy. I'm talking about mentally. Sure. The little boy mm -hmm. ain't showing his father the proper love and respect you're supposed to show your parents. And if you want to find a reason to justify it, go ahead. Damn. It's hard yeah. to love something that don't love you. He looked just like that nigga though. And sound kind of like him too, yeah. There's yeah. plenty of um, audio and video of 50 Cent trying to be in that boy's when life. When he was younger, yeah. when he was younger. But when they're older, but it when seemed you, like the boy. When I, you I, vetted I, by a bitch, you would turn against not only the father. I agree. You don't talk crazy to your mama too. Because if you would do that, that entitled shit. Mm, yeah, I agree. You would do that. You would do that. If you would do that to your father, you would do that to somebody else. What you think the boy should do then? It's not a boy. Oh, you mean it's a boy? Young. He's mentally, <laughs> he's mentally, he's he's mentally young. That's a young man. That uh, that he he's just. What do you suggest the boy do, Cole? He's ungrateful. Look, that they to ha to not have a relationship with your fa your actual biological father, and yet he was giving you that type of money. I don't understand his mental. Like, okay, that's dude. You got to. Well, maybe he don't think the money equates to present. Obviously, he doesn't. No, what but not said? everybody has to do that. Look, he's twenty-five. You it's said not. what I think the boy should do. Yeah, it's not what I think the boy should do. Life will show you the motherfuckers that ever did something for you, who they are. Life is going to show you. Mm -hmm. Fifty Cent has obviously done for the boy mm -hmm. a lot. That's a lot at this age. When life kick in for real, mm. and the villains surround you, you gonna appreciate somebody who ever really did something for you. Even if you too honorary to admit it, life will show that boy what's really happening out here. Yeah, and it doesn't help, because it seems like at this point, looking at the timeline and like all the different dis the arguments that they've had, it, it seems like the mother was involved. So I don't know, I mean, don't take, I don't know. I'm just saying it does seem like, cause there's no way that, you know, that kid can be, how you say, the mother has to step in at some point. 
and say, I, look, I don't agree with what you're saying. Don't do that or don't act like this or whatever. And it doesn't seem like she had any kind of control over that kid because I'd have flipped out. I, I had I, I had a, 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 a beauty, ago, a yeah, beauty like, place where my daughter can go in there and get her hair done. Then her mama started going in there and getting her hair done and putting on it on the credit? bill. Oh, so my. I cut it off because her mama was jealous that her hair looked better than her. Ugh. So her mama knew I was gonna cut it off when I found out. Mm -mm. So she made it with her daughter hair don't get done. Fuck it, bitch. <laughs> I'm supposed to, what? Is something wrong with me for telling the motherfucking truth? My daughter called me when she was 16 talking about daddy, I need a coat. That's, I'm like, how the fuck you day. ain't got a coat? So, mm, he's, he, uh, that would somebody said I he, wind up getting her a coat. Okay. But when my daughter was 18, I showed her all them checks that her mother get in her name every month. And she shouldn't have been How the fuck anything. you ain't got a coat? Right, yeah. Mm. A funky bitch ain't finna take care of the kids with that money. A funky bitch gonna take care of herself. And the nigga that's working her right. Wow, that's terrible. Ain't no funky bitch finna do right by no motherfucking kids. If that bitch getting motherfucking 100000 a month, by the time that child is 20 years old, ain't none of that money there no more. Because you gave it to a bitch who mm -hmm. want to shine and look good on Facebook and hang around people that ain't going to be there for later in life. Where are your friends at later in life? I'm talking about people who are 50 and older. Where them motherfuckers at? Them motherfuckers who you spend time with, mm. putting time into uh, uh, helping them. Where they at? Gone. Mm -hmm. Gone. Gone. You ain't got time to be worried about no motherfucking bitch or her kids. Shut the fuck up talking to me. If it ain't no respect, if it ain't no love, Fuck you and that baby. I'll make another one. <laughs> hmm? They said, uh. Hmm? <laughs> I ain't bullshitting. I wish I would kiss somebody's ass that ain't motherfucking respectful and ain't got love for me. Now, if you my peoples and you, you fuck with me right, I got you. But other than that, fuck you and that baby you kept this time. That's the truth. Don't nobody say that. They just say, oh, it's a baby out here fucked up. Boy, your brothers and sisters didn't get four months into the pussy before they was yanked out. It was people before you, little boy. She killed him. She killed him. And don't nobody ever say nothing about it. All the dead babies and dumpsters around Planned Parenthoods in this country are, aren't even recognized. They just gone. But the man ain't shit, cause he ain't motherfucking kissing the bitch ass to see his son or daughter. Man, get the fuck out of here, nigga! You lost your motherfucking mind. I feel bad for that kid, though. He said he I said in the bad. podcast that uh, ain't about the money. It's, it's about him wanting to be his dad. Wanting him to be his dad. Say that again. But that. He but said he, he said he, in the podcast that it ain't about the money. It's about him wanting to, want to be his dad. Want him to be his dad. He could have said that a long time ago. Man, listen, let me tell you something. If it ain't that, then you won't be on a podcast trying to motherfucking call out your father. Oh, they've had so many episodes, those two. It's terrible. It's sad. I'm just saying, it's starting to get bad because if it get to my ear, that means it's, like, it's all I mean, you know, one of the run ins was in a jewelry store. You know shit. that, right? Like, it's I'm sad not just to talking that. about the brother 50 and his situation. I'm talking about all the situations around the country where there are children or not children, yo, they, they were kids at one time, mm -hmm. now they grown talking crazy to you because you didn't do it like they wanted you to do it. Mm. Now, if you yeah. are a motherfucker in corporate America and your check is being motherfucking severed and all that shit, that's different. But it's niggas out here got to find a way to hustle any way they can. They don't got time for what your mama talking about. I can look any child or any of my kids in the face and say, look, your mama ran me the fuck away from y'all. But now that we, you grown and you talking to me, let's start our relationship. Yeah. I'm fortunate that my son's mother didn't necessarily run me away. In fact, I take most of the blame for that. 
I motherfucking allow myself to let her and her husband grow. I fucked up. I should have kept fucking my baby mama. <laughs> my son mama. The manager. I shouldn't have never stopped. Yeah, the married one. I said the manager. What manager? No, no that's some other shit. That's when I was younger than you. That's I had a kid when I was motherfucking working at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, that's fucking the older bitch with a car. Yeah. All the, the streets know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. The yeah. little boy, if that's my son, I think it's my son. He brainwashed. He don't even know me. That nigga go to church. His <laughs> life is he has fucked. A, he has a Benjamin Button. Baby. <laughs> that nigga believe Jesus coming to get him. <laughs> he don't know me. He go to church. Or coming to get him. That nigga <laughs> really think Jesus Christ is his Lord and Savior. Praying on nigga, <laughs> I'm talking about my son that's 21. I'm trying to motherfucking get him to understand you ain't smarter than me, nigga. I'm the mm. coldest nigga you know. And I happen to be your father. So talk to me straight up. That's where we at. It's about you the, the church about my, my, my son is 21. He thinks oh, that he one, can okay. run game on me. Yeah. And it's fucking sad. I be like, nigga, who is you talking to? Nigga, your that shit, is. your that shit is. from the suburb. My son got suburban game. He grew up in a house where his mama made all the money, took care of the nigga. The nigga used to babysit. Yeah. It's really a sad situation. She ran the house. Hmm. Now what happened if your mama run the house and there's a nigga in the house? Oof. Kids <laughs> ain't gonna grow up right. This well, ain't no got, diss to her. Well, they got no respect I fucking them. love my motherfucking son mama. God damn it shit, she was a good woman. I should have kept her. I just would have had to keep her and my other girl, but I wasn't ready for that and they wasn't ready for that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I fucked up. I could have kept her. That nigga that she married, he would have stayed anyway. He wasn't on his feet. We'd have used him to babysit. <laughs> what? He wasn't financially stable. I should have kept fucking. Side nigga babysitter. Nigga, right. That's funny. He served a purpose. <laughs> and those kids will have no respect for that man. <laughs> he sit around, drink, Side and motherfucking get DUI. That's what the nigga do. <laughs> nigga sit around, drink, get DUI. Oh my God. He probably wouldn't have got the DUIs if I'd have lived there because I'd have been like, nigga, you can't drive drunk. I'd have had to vet the nigga too. Because I'm the alpha. You get what I'm saying? This is how it really goes. I'm the motherfucking alpha, nigga. I'm not shy to say it. He's a little nigga. He probably was digging a right or something. Good. Fuck the bitch when I'm through with her. When I'm through with her, hold her and talk to her. That's what we, we the whole black family is off balance because we think we supposed to just have our girl and, 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 and we just be with her. And, 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 and that, that ain't how life really work. Late, the way life really work is alphas. We run this shit. We the motherfuckers that they say are toxic is because we run this shit, nigga. We run this shit. Bitches, no matter how much shit they talk about us, they fucking the alphas. And that was a, that's a critical time in a little boy's life. Any kid's life at 10, and your dad is who he is, and, then, and they split. Yeah, there was a lot of, I believe there was a lot of. Uh, so they split when he was 10 years old? I think earlier than that. You talking about with 50 Cent though? Yeah, but at 10. They split. That story yeah. sound good. 50 Cent. <laughs> Ben had money. Ain't 50 Cent had money for about 20 some years? Right. Yeah. So he ain't been with no one bitch. They've had some serious drama though. Remember the house burning down and all that? And she said she put it on him. Oh, Man, it was, 50 it's Cent a, a motherfucking lot. player it's for life. Just like most of us who got some dust, we gonna do what the fuck we gonna do. And ain't no motherfucker finna make us be nothing but who the fuck we are when it really boil down to it. And if we grow up without our kids, it's because it's a bitch, we got pregnant, that wouldn't bow down. 50 Cent is a motherfucking provider. I'm talking about, he's a, he's a, his ability to provide is evident. Ain't no motherfucking bitch running shit when you fucking with a real alpha nigga. Ain't no bitch running shit, it's just a disaster waiting to happen when the bitch try to run the alpha. It's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Throughout history, what an alpha get ran by the bitch? It don't happen. It's just the family gets separated and the little kids think they supposed to talk shit about the alpha. Meanwhile, the alpha's still doing the same shit he was doing that's productive and the mama ain't doing shit but running a motherfucking mouth with a dick in the air once in a while. <laughs> huh? 
Hurt, don't it? Hurt, don't it? This is what America about. What bitch you know who used to have an alpha doing good without her after the child support run out and all that shit? What he bitches out here starving? <laughs> oh, starving, I'm, nigga. I'm so hungry. I wish I'd have just stayed with him. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Uh, and unless they're, if they're really wise, then they wouldn't, it won't bother them. They, just so long as the kid is looked after, like I've never really, I've never fretted. I've never had a problem. I just want, look, as long as my kid and his dad have a good relationship, man, I don't. But I'm an adult. I your child, and your, your what, child and your father have a good relationship, great right? Great relationship. But I think that's yeah. what, he, that's what Mar Marquis saying. I think that's what he's, he's asking for. Yeah. But Marcus, now a, though. But now, and the man's like 25, 26. You ain't answering. You ain't asking for no relationship with your pops, and you got money over the flow. Talk about entitled. How the fuck is and you want a relationship with business. your? Do you know if my son did that to me, I'll be like, I'll beat your ass, nigga. <laughs> if my son did that to me, yeah. I'll be like, I'll fuck you up, though. <laughs> I mean, they've had problems like that in the club. They've ran into each other. I mean, that's. And crazy. I ain't what gonna happened? keep fighting my son. If I get it, I got this from my nigga Scruncho. When he said this, it was it was like church. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna fight my son, but one time. You got one time to fight me, what? nigga. After that, I'm through fucking with you. Mm. You don't motherfucking disrespect me. Do you know what happened when you disrespect your parents? It's a life of misery. When you talk shit to your parents, you live a life of misery. If it's some people on this planet, you supposed to hold your motherfucking peace for, that's your motherfucking parents. Your parents are the motherfucking, one motherfuckers who should have had a power over you where you be like, ooh, ooh, see? That's my mama though, or, ooh, that's my daddy. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna disrespect them. I'm here because of them. Well, These motherfucking kids talk crazy to the motherfucker that brought them here. This is the world we live in. That's wild. You know, I was told not to disrespect your elders, period. You know what I mean? You're not supposed to disrespect your elders, but it's a crazy world. There are but exceptions. You ain't supposed to be talking crazy to your parents. There are very You ain't supposed slim, to be trying your parents. Very slim exceptions. Especially when your mother or father is in the public eye and they already get scrutinized over nothing anyway. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My motherfucking Melody walked in this motherfucker. Oh, hell. He Jack. My motherfucking nigga. <laughs> Walk him around hey, that way, man. Jack. Oh, oh. My motherfucking nigga done walked in we here, man. My have, motherfucking homeboy, man. Queen. No, he said Scoot he this shit over and let my homeboy <laughs> sit down, <laughs> man. I mean. Motherfucking nigga. Chico Bean up in this bitch. How are you? Motherfucker, what up? Baby, yeah, yeah, oh, motherfucking like nigga up in this yeah, bitch. Slide through like a drive through, my boy. Sit that nigga down somewhere over here, man. Yeah. There we go. We getting deep, man. Uh, uh oh, what I done walked in on? Oh, oh man, you know he ain't talking right, that well, shit. I got to the chat room going over here. I got to do this first. Let's right. go ahead. Let's <laughs> 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 Is he in the count? I don't think he, he got uh, them in the camera. Uh, there he is. Chico, you got them half price ass braids, nigga. Hey, 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 hey. That's what I want to see what they got to say. <laughs> they gonna talk that shit. Hey. You know how to hold that motherfucker up and tighten it. Pause, nigga. <laughs> 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 Hell no. <nah. laughs> well, I <laughs> man, turn that. You got that shit as a strike. He got it. Well, I, I follow Chico yeah, on on everything on his uh, and the the fellas. You know the South. The eighty five South boys. All their all their platforms. So I already Phil, see. Is it sitting I up see right all his cake on it. He makes right. me laugh good. so bad on that. Yeah, I yeah, love how you just. You, yeah, thank you, darling. You know I'm of a veteran. I'm a fifty one fifty veteran man. You I are. You know, I'm family over here. All you are. Day, you know oh, yeah. Man, come on, yeah, man. Yeah. Chico, motherfucker, I watched this nigga become a star. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, not oh. watch. You helped me become a star. See, that's what a lot of people don't, <laughs> mm -hmm. don't understand, man. Like, I saw him last night at the comedy club, and I told him I just talked him up. And, you know, I was just telling some another comic just how influential and how grateful I am that you would have been my big homie, man. Like. From the moment I stepped on the scene, the first person, a lot of people don't know this, but the first person I 
saw when we did that first workshop for Wildin' Out, the very first one, we was new niggas, ain't nobody know who we was. In New York. In New York. And Corey walked in and I was like, and then like a giant walked in the room. I was like, yeah. man, I got to impress Slim. And <laughs> that first wild style we did, you know what I mean? I went straight at Corey and I didn't win, but I won. <laughs> <laughs> I won because afterwards he pulled me to the side and gave me the best advice that I've gotten, uh -oh. especially in that space in my whole career. Mm -hmm. He said, hey, young nigga, you know, you got something. I can see it. I know talent. I know what I'm looking at. So find you something to do around this motherfucker. You're going to be one of them niggas they see clapping on the intro. And that's gonna be the last time they see you. Right there, that's church though. Hey, and that's, if that's you was, yeah, when you on wildin' out, you gotta let your talent show, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's weird, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cause I, he he say this shit. I ain't coach him into saying that shit. Oh, Look, nah, man. Chico, man, and since I met Chico, man, he he been thorough, dog. And on top of that, I love the nigga cause he's strong. I ain't talking about strong like a monster. I'm talking about strong just like Ain't no scare ass, mark ass nigga. If you notice, I don't get along with them niggas. Nigga never get along with you like that. Like, you know what I mean? Nah, it's over with. Any cake ass nigga, they gonna hate me later. Cause yeah. I be talking shit. But I'm saying like, man, you know what it is, man. I'm, man, I no. watch y'all motherfuckers turn into stars, nigga. I'm, I'm, y'all motherfuckers, man. I'm proud of y'all niggas. Oh uh, yeah, man. This is, and like I said, it's, it's because of, the love that I had for Corey, anybody that he embraced, man, when I see you out, and ever since I done met you, man, you done been one hell of a nigga, man. I, you know, I'm glad to be somebody that then came into contact with you and then got to, you know, chop it up with you and all that, man, because yeah, you, you yeah, got man. it, man, hey, all man. the way. You I got it. No, Chico a good nigga, man. You in this motherfucker, oh, motherfucker dressed like They call like you Freddy Baron Davis. Role manager, nigga. <laughs> That nigga dressed like Freddie Roe manager, like you about to. He like said Freddie Krueger Roe manager. manager. That nigga about to book Freddie at the, right. the jazz. We need fifteen hundred to motherfucking stay an extra <laughs> night. Freddie opening up for Frankie Beverly, fucking with this nigga. <laughs> Nigga said she gon' look like Jamiroquai. That's hilarious, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> what y'all talking about, though, OG? What y'all talking about? No, it's like this. We was talking about. An example is what's happening with 50 Cent and his son. Mm -hmm. And I was telling everybody, man, you know, I would love to hear your opinion on this. Okay. Just because you got a baby with a woman don't mean you love her, that baby. Oh, it's that's just, a fact. Don't nobody say that. That's a fact. Uh, that's a fact, a whole fact. My little brother went through that. Like, my little brother father didn't fuck with my mother, so he ain't fuck with him. Like, and my mama was real enough, God rest her soul, to tell me that before she passed away. Like, you lost that your what, mama last year? Last year to COVID. Yeah, yeah, I remember, dog. But, you know, she was like, and I asked her, because my father got murdered. So I never had the option of, you know, having that relationship. But I asked her, I was like, man, what's up with my little brother father? And she was like, man, that was a nigga I was fucking. And he decided that he didn't want to fuck with me no more, and I wasn't not having my baby. And it's not that the nigga didn't take care of his family because he had a whole nother family that he took care of somewhere else. Yeah, so it was just strictly that he didn't fuck with my mama. So just because you have a baby, that's the thing. That's why as a man, you got to be more you know, strategic with your dick because nigga, you can't be out here just giving it away. My uncle told me a long time ago, nigga, you got to treat your dick with the same care you treat your social security number because it'll do just as much damage to you. You can't just be out here frivolously <laughs> fucking. I like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and now, mind you, it took me some frivolous fucking to figure it out, but that's some real shit. How old are you now, G? Can you tell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 36. You still a young boy. Yeah. God damn. Marcus, how old are you? 34. God damn. These young boys, man. I mean, they men, but at the same time, I'm like, God damn. I forgot I was. Damn. No, that's some good wisdom, Chico, to get to people, man, because people need to hear it, man. I had a partner, got them. He had. He fucked this. Ragged ass bitch. I'm talking about this bitch was a slut of the goddamn neighborhood. But that nigga got the best bond in the world with his son. His son looked just like his ass and everything. I feel like, shit, nigga, if, 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 I don't give a fuck who that bitch is. If I got a connection, this is my blood to me. 
Oh, you nigga, you ain't got no kids, kids, do you? No, I ain't got no kids. Yeah, you ain't got no kids the way you talking. I can tell that nigga ain't got no kids. He ain't got, got, got no kids. But it sound like a joke. Yo, not Corey no kids. Said. Nah, because you don't understand, man. Like, like I say this all the time. Like, and losing my mother gave me a lot of insight on shit I didn't understand. Because as a man, you don't understand what a man go through till you become one. Mm -hmm. But I love my mother dearly with everything in me. But I ain't never had to be in no relationship with my mama. I don't know who she was as a counterpart. I knew who she was as my mama. Yeah. So I don't know how she, she had your acted. Back? Yeah, all the time. You forever. See what I'm saying? But I don't know who she was to a nigga that she was fucking with. Yeah. So like just right. because that's my mama don't mean that a nigga going you know, you how you gonna tell somebody what they need to be doing better. No, that's Chico, a, you gave the blueprint <clears throat> to a lot of understanding of who you are to me. You said your mother had the courage to tell you I wasn't with him like that. Yeah, no. Nah. See, that's why it makes sense you are who you are to me now. Because you, I ain't, I ain't never known nothing about your mom, yeah. but I hear that. But and you I'm met like, her. You wow. met her. You that's... met her before she passed. Like, when you when we was in D.C. that time, you got to meet my mom. And she okay, was a huge backstage, fan right? Yeah, she was a huge fan of you. And my mama was a gangster, man. It wasn't no great. But that's G shit she yeah, told she, you. She, she, she told These me the hoes truth. ain't got the courage to tell their kids what's really up. They act like something was wrong with the man. They didn't got the courage to say, man, me and your father wasn't like that. So I understand why he ain't as close to you as you want him to be. Bitches ain't got the courage to say that. Yeah, think, nah, nah. I hear what, I well, I hear what Marcus is saying. I but think also Marcus, Marcus and Darlene, I want both of y'all to make y'all point now. Go ahead. I was, I was gonna chime on him. I was raised by my daddy too. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was raised that by ain't my what daddy. I heard, man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you better stop. That ain't what I heard, nigga. Stop. <laughs> I'm just telling you, nigga. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, you an admirer of your pops, obviously, but he, I, I, I heard differently, nigga. What? And Walt raised me, took care of the family. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Well, nigga, he did his shit on the side, but the nigga took care of the family. Y'all live with him? Yeah. Oh, okay, daddy. Yeah. About what age? She had to Oh. Well, your cool. father lived in the house with you? Yeah. Well, what happened to you, nigga? Look at you. Oh, <laughs> oh man. God. Get it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't going to make you but well, I mean, I can tell you what you look you like you yours, Liv. You look like you sell expensive fishing poles. Uh, <laughs> no, I was actually going to build on what you were saying, Marcus, when you were saying that this that you would pretty much make or want a relationship with it, but... I, in situations like that, I always like to say when I, I would say I would like to think or believe that that's how I would be because you don't have any children yet. So I believe you believe that that's what you would like to have happen if you shall have a child by somebody that you're not in a good relationship with. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you never know because you don't know what that what that woman is capable of or exactly. what's going to happen. There you go. You don't know what that does. You know what I'm saying? What that woman is like you want to try, but they, into. yeah. I know many a nigga that was good niggas until they got with that woman that man turned them into some different type of people. They got that power because when you got a child, you can dangle the child they as like bait right. and use it again and, and try to, you know. Yeah. The thing is, like, well, my daughter, mama, like, one thing that I got to give respect for is the fact that you have the ability to shut my day down immediately. Mm -hmm. Like, no matter what happened, you got the, the Trump cards. You can call me and be like, hey, this is going on. No matter how much money I'm somewhere getting or what I'm doing, I got to stop what I'm doing to come handle whatever it is that's going on over there because I chose to take the responsibility of being a father. You a that's, saint, nigga. You know what I mean? I told my but you daughter like mama, it. if my daughter die, I don't want to hear from you, bitch. <laughs> 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 what, nigga? I ain't lying. I put that on everything. <laughs> Don't ever call me again, <laughs> Funky <laughs> Maywood, bitch. Hey, man. Put something on that. Hey, nigga. man. This nigga is no crazy, yeah, man. Uh, bitch, yeah. you talk crazy to me, bitch. I cut you off forever, bitch. This I can live with it. Motherfucker, my tell me some bad news. I don't want to hear. <laughs> That's real shit, nigga. Fuck that bitch. That bitch ain't never did nothing but off. Look, her mama was an awful bitch. I'm talking about my daughter's mama. Mama so was an awful grandma, bitch. The grandma. The bitch I fucked when I was a young, dumb nigga who didn't know no better. I ain't making no excuse for that. Fuck it. I got a daughter by a bitch that ain't shit. And I'm going to tell you something. This is another thing niggas with no nuts ain't got the courage to tell you. If you have a baby by a motherfucker that ain't shit, 
That baby ain't going to be about shit. Every once in a while, something beautiful come from an awful bitch. But it's rare. <laughs> it's rare. If the mama wasn't shit, your kids ain't going to be shit. You really supposed to motherfucking take the time and breed with a bitch that got your back and got a moral compass. That's what a motherfucker need to tell you. Because if you fucking with that bitch you like, the bitch you like ain't about shit, nigga. Every bitch you like, that bitch ain't shit. You better go for that bitch that like you and it's about something. Takes two to create. Takes two to create. Yeah, let Darlene tell you that shit. <laughs> it do to take create. two to create, hey, man. Yeah, you, you but Darlene, you got to listen to OG. It take two oh, to create, God. but you fuck around, create with a nigga with a mentality like Corey. You going to Yo. be solo exactly. out this bitch. Okay. Oh, you're going to be <laughs> a man. That nigga finna hit the... Hit the gas on your That's ass. That's what I'm saying. I, exactly. And then be yelling shit out the window on his way. Hey, bitch, make sure you lock the door at the 7 p.m. round this motherfucker. Ain't nothing more <laughs> exhilarating oh. than watching the neighbors look out the window while you say, fuck you and that baby bitch. Oh, that is the best feeling in the world. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Awful. Uh, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm not finna sweat you in that baby, oh, bitch. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Terrible. He's terrible. Oh, nigga, they gonna jump on your casket, nigga, when you die, nigga. All your kids, nigga. They gonna, I ain't gonna be around to see it. <laughs> but look, if a motherfucker said, elbow the casket, that's exciting. I won't be around to see oh, it. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> motherfucker, ain't nothing else to do when you dead but lay up. If you get your cash you kicked over, at least you get to get put back in that motherfucker again. <laughs> nigga, shit. Nigga, kick me while I'm dead. It don't hurt, bitch. <laughs> I hope God give me the strength to say it as a corpse. <laughs> it don't hurt, bitch. <laughs> I don't give a fuck, nigga. Fuck any motherfucker that ain't fucking with me. Yeah, we're gonna make sure he still got the choker on. Yeah, I was just gonna say something. Yeah. Like choker, we gonna the bury him with the choker. Oh nigga. damn, I just seen that motherfucker. This was fucked up. Marcus got on a choker too, but they <laughs> acting like he don't. Oh. He didn't buy it like that though. You bought that one. Like yeah, that. No, he bought that motherfucker like that and kept, it was a little shorter than that. He found some more shit at the grocery <laughs> store. And they got a gay dog collar on his nah, neck. That nigga, <laughs> that's that shit them <laughs> niggas used to wear when they used to go see yes. after seven in 96. They go to see the nigga. They go to see after seven and, and, and sing, listen to some niggas sing R.B. with that old. Nigga, your hat only stank in the back with a hat. <laughs> uh, that, don't do after seven like that. That's, that's some Cisco stuff. That's right there. That ain't after no, seven. Yeah, that's some bonk, 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 bonk. Slim book had all of that. That nigga sleeve on Right, that motherfucker on the top of his head, nigga. I had to get this bitch made from scratch, nigga. <laughs> you can't buy this in the regular product store. Did you know nigga. you could buy some hair? You know, you pull it a, forward. You can get a prescri you gotta get a prescription for my hats, nigga. And you gotta go get it. Oh, I, I wear eight. Hat. What you talking about? Oh, I wear eight too. <laughs> but see, oh, yeah, see? You six foot something. I'm five seven. Nigga. It ain't the same. Yeah, your Uncle Phil do be showing on that yeah, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, Uncle right, Phil right, off the press prince. You said I can get some hair to pull it to the front. Right. You, Man, you know, I got a bit, <laughs> I got a girl in Arizona braid that shit. It won't even look like it won't miss a step. No, nah, I can't do it, man. You I think gotta, you can't do it? You gotta, gotta get. You gotta yeah, get. Yeah, it's man. too much work. That's, that's like the too point. Much work. That's yeah. the point of this shit. That's what I'm saying. Cause I yeah. learned this shit from you, man. The, the freedom and the the, the <laughs> effortlessness that I had with being me, I picked up from watching you, man. You gotta understand. I'm a studier. I pay attention. You gonna make me cry? No, I'm oh, serious, God. man. Like Please, I didn't know. But look, if I'm, if I'm talking, when I first met him, it had to be how long ago? Uh, we had a decade ago now. You was a young G. I was what I look like you you some bullshit game. Nah, man, I was, and I, I studied, man. Up. This nigga, this nigga, like, watching you, Slim, and how free you are. See, people might, might think you just doing this shit for the cameras and for the 5150, man. Now, this who he really mm -hmm. is. Everything he's, I've seen him operate in every circumstance and be a stand up nigga, but whenever some bullshit going on, that nigga gonna say something about it. And that's just what it is, man. You and Carlo no share that same Little that same no energy, man. When there's some shit going on, nigga, y'all niggas gonna say something about it. Carlos and it be the speak his mind. And yeah, it be the him. funniest shit. Listen, this nigga Corey, one time we at rehearsal, right? This is the funniest nigga ever, oh. man. We at rehearsal. 
and we just waiting. You know, this is our first rehearsal. We ready to start our seasons a while, and I'm <laughs> ready to be on TV. I'm up there nervous and shit. I'm standing there. I ain't gonna say who it was, but it was a wild and out girl at the time standing beside me, right? And I'm standing there, you know, trying to get my shit together. This nigga, this was when that uh. Uh, this how long ago this was. My all go everything was the hit oh, song, yeah, yeah. Trinidad yeah, yeah. Jane. And this nigga Corey come in, man, and he always know he got an audience with me anytime. This nigga on the goofy shit, he come in, stand right beside me and say, Chico, I'm like, what's up? He say, I'm fucking this bitch raw. Dick all in her jaw. <laughs> she pushed it down and tried to talk and say, oh. Uh, 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 <laughs> After that, I was like, I'm ready to work now. <laughs> this nigga here. <laughs> I'm ready no, to work. Chico, let, me, let me say something to you because I feel you on that. After I did that, you saw, oh, I could be me. Yeah. You want me to tell you? Want me to tell you? Uh, you did that. Who on did air? that? No, he no, didn't do that on air. But hey, the shit he hey, did man, on air was they, even more if they legendary. Show the shit I did on air. Wouldn't have been. I'll be a superstar. Yeah, be a, they a cut superstar. It. They, won't show they it can't on, show it. They can't show it, man. I didn't I'm telling hold you, back. When I, I wish there. that we had an uncut version, and it would be all this nigga shit. Oh, like this uh, man has made me cry tears, man. I did a lot of crazy shit that I thought would make it, but it didn't make it. Cry tears, man. Oh, man, that shit you did with that towel slim, that's still some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life, man. I had a ball at Wild and Out. All the way. You know I was supposed to come this time. Why didn't you? I I, I had a lot of obligations, and it's changed from when I was there, Chico. Mm. I love Nick I Cannon you, but for- You should have came, man. I love Nick Cannon for inviting me I was again. praying yeah, you was came, man. I swear, I started to come, there, man, but I, said, I just- man, of all the niggas what's up I with wanted the niggas to come back. kissing on there, dog? I mean, you, <laughs> hey, it is go. what it is, nigga. Transitions, <laughs> it didn't happen. It ain't nothing you could do about it's, that. It's, it's, it's it's happening right but here. that's what I'm saying, like, but now it don't matter. Like, I just wanted to see what you would say, my nigga. No, no, this is what I said. I said to my nigga Dick. I said, well, how much you pay? He said, Oh, well, we got to work on that. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Nick. I love you, Nick. I ain't coming, Can't dog. Do you done gave all the money to the kids, Nick. Hey, man, you should have you at least came for one, man. If they ask you to come back, just come be the team captain one time, man. Please. I, I would love to come be the team captain that one time yeah. as the guest star. I yeah. would love it. Yeah, I, that's let me tell better, you something. Listen. Nick, Wildin' Out helped my career tremendously. Yeah. All them youngsters know me from Wildin' right. Out. Right, it's a whole other... Avenue. All them youngsters, when people walk up to me, 20s, 30s, they be like, yeah, I was like, wilding out. They be like, that's you! Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, nigga. You know Still what I'm now to this day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's I'm crazy. Niggas that do, that I'll be like, yeah, Cole Hogan. I'll be like, oh, dude, I'm wilding out. Like, nigga, that's crazy. We had some magic yeah. seasons on wilding out. Oh, man, we, what? When it was wrong. One time it was me, Cat, D Ray, um, I'm forgetting some motherfuckers, uh, but it yeah, was a uh, lot of motherfuckers uh, 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 what's that my man name? went on right. to be what they need to be. Uh, um, Atheon. Atheon. Look what um, I forgot to say. You know, yes. all of y'all was on we there, the motherfucking, man. That's hey, why I say, man. Nick Cannon, you know. look, my nigga, you already know. I just couldn't get there this time. Call me next time and let me be the guest star. I can't be the motherfucker just out there no more. Nah. Trying to gotta, jump out there. Yeah, let me say be, something. Nah, you gotta, that, be, you gotta be. Let Paul Paul say something. You gotta, gotta, gotta be the, uh, you gotta, <laughs> yeah, you gotta Bring be the, the team. Bring Darlene, goddammit. She gonna do, play the kneecap game. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's you want to talk, lady? Oh, let's go. Bring it. Bring it, Graham. So look, let me tell you, let me. I'm, this this a whole nother thing, but I want to say this shit. This is some real shit. Women are easily misled, not just by men, but by other women also. Feminism is the greatest example of such. This is why I believe women especially need religion. Listen, check this out. I want to say this. I'm reading this from somebody. I'm, I'm trying well, to figure so out the name. It's a that? quote. No, I'm getting a quote oh. from somebody. Somebody said, if you trust your friend more than your man, you should not be with your man. Now, I want you to think about that for a second. All you bitches who let your homegirl tell you something about your man and you check your man before you check the bitch for talking about your man, you out of pocket. If my homeboy came to me and said, Corey, I'm just saying, I saw your girl with this nigga and she got in the car. I'm gonna tell him, well that bitch is handling church business. Stop telling on my bitch, nigga. Oh my God. That's what I'm gonna tell the nigga. If you see my bitch 
doing whatever, nigga. It ain't your job to come back and tell me. I'm going to tell you that because most niggas don't know that. Most niggas think he's doing you a favor. So you don't take it personally. You just tell the nigga, that's church business right there, homie. Don't worry about it. I got it. I know my bitch ain't shit. You ain't got to tell me my bitch ain't shit. So I'm talking to all you ladies who let bitches from a stray come tell you mm. about your man. You out of pocket for not checking the bitch. That's just my opinion. We that's, can go down the panel right. and see no, what they think. That's facts. Marcus, what you think about some shit like that? As far as my homeboy? No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about if your bitch, I'm, I'm sorry, if your young lady that you love and care about is bringing information to you about what her homegirl said she saw you do, who do you have a problem with most? The bitch or the, I mean, your girl or, the, or, or her friend? She her friend. Bitch, stay out of our business. You don't know what the fuck we got going on over here. Mm-hmm. Sounds like that. And if you tell them all our business, bitch, we got a problem now. Mm. Man, my motherfucker, mm. I mean, my motherfucking wife told me about some bitch talk about I'm supposed to be fucking the bitch in Chicago. I said, well, call the bitch. Fuck it, I'm going to play this game. Call the bitch. We called the bitch. I said, yo, uh, yeah, my wife told me um, you had some information about a bitch I was fucking in Chicago. First of all, I'm fucking a lot of bitches in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> what bitch do you know about? I'm talking about, Corey. That, that bitch was froze. <laughs> that bitch didn't have nothing to say. I said, which bitch do you know? Bravo, nigga. Oh. That bitch hung up the phone, dog. <laughs> Bravo. Wow. Bravo. I ain't, I ain't no regular nigga, bitch. You can't get me caught up <laughs> on one bitch. Yeah. What bitch you talking about? Which one of these funky bitches is putting information in the street? You That's got, what I want to know. You gotta watch people when they do stuff like that. Man, woman, young, old. When they act like that, it's like, what are you trying to get out of it? Why are you calling me? See that that person right there probably had some, uh, definitely had some kind of motive. I don't know exactly yeah, where she was miserable. going. Miserable, right. misery. That's what make you want to be in another motherfucking business when right. you got time to think about somebody else's business. If you sitting around thinking about what somebody else got going on, it's because you ignoring whatever the fuck you supposed to be paying attention to about what you got going on. Right. So so are you saying what I think you're saying, because this is how I feel. When a that. woman tells another woman some information about what she saw another woman husband do, that bitch is manipulating the Try. bitch who she called herself giving information yeah, to. Yeah, and she do. nine times, nine and a half do. times yeah. out of ten ain't got no nigga nowhere around that fuck with her. Because mm -hmm. you wouldn't be anywhere near concerned with what your nigga doing and if you got a, if, if somebody was somebody else nigga doing, if you got one, especially, you know, another thing I learned from you about the game, Corey, about what a nigga got to have in order to get a bitch, to, in order for him to actually be somebody that has one, let alone multiple. You got to have all this shit in order. You got to have some money. You got to have a car. You got to have the ability to make a woman feel safe. You got to have all this shit. And all she got to do is have some pussy that you want. Mm -hmm. So if you got a, a man that's fucking with you and it's at your house and that you fuck with that you consider your man and you got time to be worried about what another one doing, you must know your nigga ain't shit. Because if you knew you had a nigga that was worth something, you would know that nigga probably got his dick in the streets too because that's just what we do. What a bitch I was on the phone with, I heard she was married. Oh yeah, well she ain't. I, I really, if I was a dirty motherfucker, I'd find out who the bitch husband was, and I motherfucking be like, hey man, let me tell you something. Your bitch is talking to my bitch about bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please check your bitch? Your girl ain't got no life, right? That's when you go. They don't have anything uh, solid be, going. A lot of them bitches do be single, don't have nobody, and, and you know her home girl. They used to hold together before you got her. You know, it's even worse so when she, she does She ain't got a whole friend no more. She tried to bring y'all down so but, she can get her back in the streets with her. But I he mean, just said she had somebody, so that's even no, worse. That's even worse. Yeah. But that's I mean, worse. that means she ain't got that no means kind she of got life. a cake ass nigga and who ain't on top of his shit. Right? Because how you gonna let somebody tell me about the responsibility as a man that I gotta take with you as my woman? If we out somewhere and somebody jump on you, it's my responsibility to defend you and risk my life for you to be able to be okay and yeah. tell the story at my funeral about the niggas who did me greasy and me trying to save you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But your friend ain't gonna do nothing but just be a motherfucker that's in the business of somebody who got a nigga who taking that responsibility. So you gonna let somebody come in and fuck up what we got going on because you just wanna be a victim. That's what I don't understand mm -hmm. about women. Like, why you gotta wanna have some shit going wrong all the time? Why and listen can't to what Chico said. 
First of all, if I'm in the streets with you, bitch, you have graduated. You, it, it is a certain level of schooling before I'm in the street with you. I don't just be in the street with any bitch. If I'm in the street with a bitch that I ain't got no business being with, I'm standoffish. You know it. He not with her. I'm going to be like, dude. <laughs> I really just got I caught out with this water, bitch. Nigga. I got caught out with this bitch. The transmission went out in the car. That's why I'm out here. Oh right. my God. <laughs> she giving you a ride. Right. She I ain't with no, no bitch. Talk. I ain't with no bitch in the street in my age that I know I ain't got complete control over. Not control over on some manipulation shit. Just a bitch like, look, I'm with this nigga. If some shit jump off, I'm with him because I know this motherfucker gonna handle the business and I'm with the bitch because I know she gonna motherfucking listen to me when I tell her this what we gotta do. Cause mm -hmm. like I said, if you ain't got no authority over your bitch when you in the street with her, you can't protect her. If your bitch would tell you what the fuck she finna do while you with her, you out here with a bitch you ain't got no motherfucking bitch with. <laughs> it's dangerous too to begin with because you don't know what that person's bringing. You don't know, you can't be walking the streets with somebody you don't know their, their whole history. That's dangerous. I'm, I'm, said, I'm, Chico I'm, and Marcus need to have a hat off. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Corey too, because he wears a lot of hats too. <laughs> I wear a hat's got none yeah. of them, but my hair's oh, still oh, up there oh, somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, that nigga, that nigga the father like, from Sugar Hill. Ray! Ula! When he had the overdose? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh, niggas say I look like light black thought. Y'all <laughs> niggas is hilarious. No, Black Adam, you don't look like that. Black Adam, fuck you, boy. You got the Quaker Oats man hat on, nigga. <laughs> you about to go pose on a Negro box of oatmeal, nigga. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Anyway. We 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 didn't give it a lot of the game today. I try to motherfucking give people game during my show because there's a lot of motherfuckers. They learn a lot by these motherfucking talks we have. Or this, this what I call it like barbershop talk or whatever. Mm. It's motherfucker. It's a nigga right now who heard something we said tonight and he's able to sleep better because he don't feel alone in the world. He was like, that makes sense because mm. I had too many people walk up to me and say, "Man, I was going through it and I heard you." And man, you got me through it with that shit. So this is this is church. What we doing right now? This ain't no just sucker shit, motherfucker. We here to help you understand. We all go through the bullshit. God damn it, Marcus ain't got that sweater on for nothing. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's pain. <laughs> See how wet them arms are now. <laughs> And they got bell got, bottom sleeves on this. You gotta keep them arms nah, down. Though, this <laughs> the sleeves wide on the <laughs> sleeves wide on the bitch on this. Oh nigga. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga Corey got the shirt on that the female waitresses wear at Benny Hanna, nigga. <laughs> That's what the women waitresses wear. You say the Benny female Hanna. waitresses at Benny Hanna. That nigga got on Yes, my, I'll get you a coke, nigga. That <laughs> nigga got on Michael Miles outfit, nigga. Uh, <laughs> Man, oh, I gotta ask you, you know, because I'm a fan of this show. You really be sweating like that, Mark? Man, look, tell that nigga to raise his arm. Raise your arms up. God damn, nigga. They gotta say, you down Mississippi. You got too much fresh water leaking out your ass, nigga. Hey, boy, you, you just tow Tampa up, boy. That Hurricane Edna arm ass nigga. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Big chin ass nigga. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a part of the show that we just get through and get it the fuck over with. Hey, y'all motherfuckers, y'all find a beat, goddammit. We got Chico here. I got oh, yeah. Rap. You got to. Okay. I ain't got no regular nigga in this mm -hmm. motherfucker. They just me, Marcus, and Darlene this week. I got a nigga with talent. Hey, man, <laughs> hey, man, you a damn man. Stop, <laughs> nigga. I mean, rapping wise. Man, Marcus, man, you, listen, you, nah. You, you rap so bad, it's good. You got to <laughs> understand, man, nigga. Nigga, man, listen, I'm a, like I said, I'm a fan of this show, man. We got to get you in the trap too, Corey, man. You got to come, come down there and fuck with Atlanta us, man. And fuck with man. We Look, got man, to, man. I you love got to. all three of y'all little niggas, man. Y'all motherfuckers, I'll tell you, man, I remember how it used to be, dog. Yes, you do. And we, I'm like, this nigga I know Corey used to, now. He used to threaten to have to, this nigga Corey used to be in there threatening, but man, I'm not eating no motherfucking Cheetos again, nigga. Y'all better get somebody on the phone and get some real food in hey, this man. bitch. Oh, oh, and we used to just be in that motherfucker quiet, like, yeah, somebody with some power saying something. We was doing wilding out, man. Them motherfuckers ain't even had no food for the niggas. 
Them motherfuckers went in there and grabbed a slab of leftover shit that the motherfucking uh, 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 white boys, what you call them? The, um, the, um, 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 what's the motherfuckers who get paid? They um, union. Union, oh yeah. And threw that shit in there for motherfuckers to eat. I was like, man, y'all better suck Snatch my dick. Snatch it off the crafty table, nigga. Right. Throw it in the room. Yeah, the niggas had some way. Cheetos and airplane warm water for niggas. <laughs> The little bitty warm waters too. Yeah, the little small ones. Yeah. Made by Tyco. I was like, don't they make little raced cars and shit? Yeah, I remember that so shit. shit. No, nah, it was cold how they played niggas. They played niggas like they won shit, though. But I ain't shitting on nothing. I'm a motherfucker. I can make something out of nothing, you dig? But I had forgot about that, Chico. That's real shit. Yeah, you was the one, man, all the way, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why you I forgot come about that shit. shit. Yeah, I, come back and do it. We do that's it why I begin one, kicked man. off come sets. Back. No, he's he's a problem. He's he he speak up for himself. I don't like that shit. With this guy. <laughs> for real, Darlene, please bring this week's loose talk about bullshit. All right. Uh, Try to read it, D. Jay Z. All right, well, he has invested, if you haven't heard, uh, almost $17 million in this company. It is a robot-made traveling pizza, pizza truck. It's a, truck, a pizza truck business, and they say the guys that, that, that um, they were, they, it's a startup company here in L.A., and they must have gave one hell of a presentation. Everybody's talking about it because they were like, oh, wow, he, he, he gave them almost $17 million. So um, it's gonna start up soon. Uh, it, they, they say that it can drive anywhere and it's run by robots. So they've already tested it. A bunch of people, if you look it up online, have tested it and said that it is great, that the pizza's good. It makes a full pizza, fresh dough, everything in five minutes. So although it's gonna save money on, you know, having a bunch of people that they hire, there still <laughs> has to be somebody to cut it and box it. So you saying a robot makes some fire ass pizza? That, and Jay Z's invested in this company. It's called. Ready to steal the robot. Exactly. Big in the booty pizza. It can make it. It can make it in five minutes. It's called Stellar Pizza. Um, Blow your dough out. Say it can make it in five minutes. It can just make the pizza, but it ain't cooking. Fresh. And making this it. is everything. So everything. you mean so that the robot make the pizza and cook the whole pizza in under five, in five minutes? Fresh toppings added before the pie is going to a oh, 900 degree. I don't know if that's oven. real, right there. So they got a store. <laughs> And it can actually come robots. to your house, right? So when old school, when pizza used to be delivered to your house, it's actually going to drive it. It can deliver. It can make it out in the front. So it it's called Stellar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That so nigga look like he going You roll up that truck. He gonna have on a two two. <laughs> <laughs> and so a lot is that a is that a recent pizza? Did he? I mean, a, a recent picture? Did Not he a cut? Jay Z. It is. No, no. Yeah, uh-uh. He ain't cut his no. hair, did he? Damn, hold on. So he invested. Shit a long time ago then. He did. It, they said plastic it pizza. Started. It was a start Yoga mat pizza. Yeah, that ain't <laughs> real. Right, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be interesting to see right there. It said it can produce 420 um, pizzas uh, before having to be restocked on one truck. 420. That's a lot. So, yeah. anyway, is it? We'll see how that all goes. So, mm. go it's with a, it, buddy. It says it's gonna solve a major f- a food industry problem, and I guess it's just making fresh pizza. Yeah, because it ain't food. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, they look good. The, fuck that the, shit the pictures of them. Motherfuckers gonna start having cancer in their thirties in this country, dog. Mm. Yeah. Motherfuckers gonna be sick, dog. Motherfuckers already having heart attacks in twenties and shit. I wonder if Niggas happened. having heart attacks in their fifties, and they say it's natural causes. This mm. is common now. Mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course, everybody's talking here about. I don't know if you guys saw this. Oh my god, I can't believe when I saw this this woman. Um, she's an L.A. councilwoman. And, um, and some other councilmen, they got, they got, I guess, ousted. Yeah, they were exposed in a leaked audio that's a year old, but it is pretty heavy duty. So they're saying all kind of racist shit, just, just out there. There were all Latino, I don't know what the guys were, but I know that she's, I believe she's Mexican. And she's actually the president of the council. So they're, they're asking for her resignation. She actually removed herself from the president's seat, but people want her totally gone out of there. Um, it's pretty disgusting. Her name's Nuri Martinez, 
And in the conversation, it was, it was just leaked, but apparently this happened at a meeting behind the scenes a few years ago. The, what started it was she was talking about another councilman who's white and he had adopted a three-year-old boy, a black kid. And she was saying how to these other guys, she was saying, oh, he was acting so out of control. He needs to just give him to me so I can beat him, like beat him straight. And then she said, she called him a little monkey. He was acting like a little monkey. She said it in Spanish, the little monkey part. Um, and then she even spoke about her own kind. I mean, there's just some evil people in every, in every kind of uh, race, but she was talking about Oaxacan Mexicans, which uh, there's a big community of them in Koreatown, and Oaxacans are mostly darker, darker skin. So she was even talking about them. She said- You mean the real brown Mexicans? She yeah. said, she the called original. them, she said there's a, there's, there's a lot of short, dark, people in Koreatown. That's who she was talking about, O'Hawkins, in, in Koreatown. So she just kept going. She just, she, stu she just said all kind of shit. So they're trying to get her to, as a matter of fact, when I actually drove here, my ways took me through downtown and I passed through the back of the city council building and it's packed because they're telling her, no, you need to go, and, which is true. We don't need anybody in there. We already know that most people in, polit in politics are crooked. Um, but this was bad. When you listen to it, it's like, what? So do you think she's different than any of the other people in office? No, not she necessarily. Just she just got caught. Exactly. And so, the way, she, so she don't like black people. That's and when crazy. you can hear her talking, it's like, yeah. And, and I don't know exactly uh, what area she's the councilwoman of. Because, you know, they have certain areas. That they, they've been, I, I don't know. I didn't look into that. I had never heard of her before. Out here in L.A., Chico. Because Chico is not from L.A. He is from D.C. D.C. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, I don't you know wow. I got you from the South, though. That's you land of I mean? the You ever lived in the South? Yeah, I live in the South now. I went to school down there, so I stayed when I graduated. But she needs but to go. City. But she this is her go. right here. Yeah, this is, and, this, and she's she just has, uh, one listen, of many. She has she the needs, nerve to talk uh, about people. Say, we got the same hairline, man. You <laughs> should love black people. <laughs> she has the nerve you to call love people Negroes. ugly. She's we, ridiculous. She has similarities, man. My shit look just like yours on that picture. That look like Darlene's niece. But <laughs> out here. Yeah, don't do my nieces like that. Out here in California, are. there are a lot of Hispanic people mm -hmm. that pretend they're white. Oh, oh yeah. wow! Oh, a lot oh, of Spanish people are white adjacent. Yeah, and she's got some, yeah, yeah. some power. Oh, who knows? A yeah. lot I mean, of I them. I kind of understand it because didn't California used to be Mexico? Yeah. 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 The whole, yeah. what so are you talking that, about? I mean, yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It used to be their uh -huh. land, so they could act like the people who took it. So, some I mean, of them pitch you know, whole sides and some of them just came. I, I, I'm no, sure they like much that. rather choose to act like the people who took it than the people who just it's ended it's some It's a Mexican. Or, or 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 Korean or whatever people that are not racist. Yeah, they understand what it really is. Mm. But trust me, there are a lot of people who are not Caucasian but identify as Caucasian, including black people. This is just one bitch who's in office who got caught up saying some sucker shit. But if you could follow all these motherfuckers Ooh. around and listen to what they got to say, yes. most of them yes. motherfuckers will be on the same shit. Yes. That's great. Why, Darlene, as a, as a Hispanic, well, mm -hmm. why do you think it's like that? Why, black people specifically, mm -hmm. why is it that Hispanics have a discourse towards American black when we both really you mean the same. The ones that act the ones like that, that aren't I, that I, way. All I know is that I have had some in like distant family because my close family I've never seen that. I've felt some things, and then when they got a little bit more comfortable with, oh wow, she's not she's not gonna go this route. She, you know, she's not gonna just date. You know what I'm saying? Our kind. When I saw that. Like Somebody an, said, fuck this shit, I, I gotta say this shit. Somebody like said I got on a Forever 21 choker chain. <laughs> it's, it's Louis Vuitton, homie. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying it. Now, uh, <laughs> What's up, Pet <laughs> Worth? What's up with you, Slim? Hey, nigga, I, I do both but shit. But as far as other one, I, don't, I can't speak for all of them. I don't know. But I do know that if I were to witness or feel any kind of way about somebody like that, I would not have them around me at all mm -hmm. and there are some people that i just don't deal with because i can sense that you know what i'm saying that that there was an, a beginning uncomfortableness almost with everyone because that was in in 85 when i first came out here to la and that's 
I was already dealing with it for like years before that. So because I, mean, you I had, I had stuff. When you got with Ice T. They probably were like, what? No, the even fuck before is that. Doing? All right, but even before that, I had my very first boyfriend. I went to his prom, and he went to a predominantly black high school out there in Riverside. Where those guys go? Am I tell you the basketball players, the brother and the sister? Yeah, yeah, they went the Millers. Better. Stop the Millers. Anyway, I went to that high school, and I it, it happens, but I had stuff thrown at me. I, I was the first Latina to go there, at then he made prom king. I don't anyway, care. But different stuff like I'm that sorry. happens. Do everybody's stuck into their own communities until people start venturing out to get to know one another's. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Clicks. But other than that, people weren't comfortable with it because they were sticking to their own areas and it's like okay you can't come over here to get them i'm telling you i i went to the so-called black night on roller skating night by accident one time like i just thought it i didn't know i was so young i didn't know there was actually a specific you know what i'm saying hey, hey look but d check this out and had a ball because they accepted me you, like that's what i'm saying time? hell yeah let did. me let me give it to you d but it it happens it's and chico it. and marcus and anybody who's listening I don't care if you are prejudiced. What I care about is if you rude and bold enough to bring it to me. That changes everything. Mm. I can't get no money if I don't deal with bigots. The world is full of them, I'm telling you. You ain't gonna get no, dog. Them motherfuckers who sign in your check mm. don't like your black ass, but, they or don't like you, your Latino ass. And they know you don't, make money. But they know. <laughs> I can get money with this motherfucker. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. let me tell you something. Some of the most racist motherfuckers in the world don't give a fuck as a priority about their prejudice towards mm, you. Mm. They give a fuck about, can I get something with this motherfucker? Right. So racist motherfucker, I know I can't stop that shit. It's all over it was racism yeah. and motherfucking wilding out. It was a bitch smiling with us, a Latino bitch. This bitch smiled with us like she was all about us. What happened? I saw through that bitch. I used, every time that bitch came in the room, my ass itch. <laughs> what what did she do? <laughs> that probably, probably was them snacks. What did man. she do? <laughs> <laughs> them snacks. Yeah. That bitch that brought eight it. hot dogs for 30 niggas. Threw <laughs> <laughs> it in the room like dog. <laughs> <laughs> Like, look at this bitch. That nigga Chico know I ain't lying. Hey, you think she did? He know who the bitch is. You ain't got to say the bitch name. But the bitch smiled like she was with us. But I'm looking at this nigga because I'm the OG. I'm like, you don't yeah, treat people funny. like that. No, but you think she You don't do had... people like that. That's why they want the gay niggas on there now. They can like, share them hot dogs. The bitch house burnt down. Oh, stop, Corey. God damn, <laughs> man. <laughs> It was in there talking, you, trying to have everybody <laughs> feel sorry crazy, for. Man. In my mind, man. I was like, "You burn in hell, bitch!" <laughs> this nigga yeah, is bro. crazy, man. <laughs> when that bitch put that tray of hot dogs in there for all the motherfuckers, I was like, "That's a, that's a rotten bitch right there." You don't even do people like that. That's silly. <laughs> I'm glad Chico here is a witness. I watch how people do me. When you do me like I ain't shit. It's on. That's it. That's it. Fuck it. You free my mind mm -hmm. to speak freely. Mm -hmm. Man, some anyway. of them Latinos. I'm so glad that bitch house burnt down. But man, man this nigga is a fool, man. Though. I really do. Man, some, <laughs> some of them motherfuckers choose, choose uh, the white side because of the power, and the other ones just become black by default. Right. And when somebody choose the white side, like a Jay Z did, when he, did somebody fight? No. Oh, okay. That no, that was that was your ass itching again. No, no, you that nigga know. ass that oh, got man, the itching again, and this motherfucker smelled it. Throat. <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> we all watched Jay Z and Jay Z smell that nigga We all watched Jay Z stand by the racist ass NFL commissioner and say, "What do we talk about? Marching in your, in your, in your. <laughs> I was like, "Look at this nigga here." He picked his side in front of everybody. Want me to tell you why he picked that side? Because huh. of what Marcus said. Jay-Z must have money. See, without money, Jay-Z cannot walk through society with his head up because of how he looks. This nigga is <laughs> ill, man. Now, I might be bogus for saying that. I might be bogus for saying that. This but it is, is crazy, the truth. <laughs> there are niggas out here who do not want to be a regular nigga in society because they can't get it without that bread. 
I don't give a fuck if I ain't have a dime. I've been fucking bitches my whole life. I caught the bus to bitches' house and fucked, and they snuck me in their closet till their mama went to work, and I was able to walk around the house naked after that. That's G shit, nigga. <laughs> but I'm saying, though, but he might have been able to do that, too. In his situation, when he coming up in New York, you know Who? what I mean? Jay-Z. Are you saying Jay-Z had bitches before the money? I'm not saying That's that. what I thought you was going to say. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean? No, I would assume that he did. I mean, he was I selling, he if he was yeah, selling he that was... work, he did. He didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. no, send that work, nigga. Oh, nigga got some paper. But Corey did say with money, you know what I mean? Oh, but of course. I, you know, of course. You, know that, you took the word right out of my mouth. Somebody, it's though. certain niggas. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that boy laughing. I got this nigga. That's how he look. Look at that bitch who happy to be there sitting in the back smoking. Oh, 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 that's a bitch happy to be there. I'm talking about the black bitch. She happy to be there. Look at her face. Look at Jay-Z. I got this money. I ain't got the big for pussy right now. I'm saying though, Corey, but do you blame a nigga for taking those type of, making those type of moves? If you ain't never had nobody lay the blueprint down, you gotta be the first nigga to do it. Only so, thing I say is this. Hmm. You been around me a yeah. little bit. Not my whole life, but you been around me. Have you ever seen me kiss the establishment ass? No. I'll burn the bridge before I kiss <laughs> their ass. Cause I could survive walking with the motherfucking have nots. Cause amongst the have nots, I'ma still stand out. Nigga, I don't need the bread to stand out, nigga. Oh my lord. Yeah, nigga, Here that shirt. Go. I'm charming, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. That, I got on karate shirt. <laughs> that nigga, that shirt you go definitely go stand out with that like goddamn motherfucker. Hey, you know what? Chico, Halloween now, Marcus, even Darlene. Oh. Bitches love how I dress. I'm different, nigga. I'm sexy. Look at this shit. No, what? Hey, oh, that no. stop, man. No, no. Here we go. Man, your no. shit look like uh, 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 the Here junkyard dog. <laughs> on the WWE. <laughs> yeah. You open your shit up and look like you, you ain't gonna wrestle the iron sheet. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, Dragonfly Jones oh. built that nigga. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> <laughs> y'all ain't sick, nigga. Fuck y'all. It's right. sexy, nigga. Look. It's my look. sexy look. This is my headshot look. <laughs> and he's gonna have two people, one on the other side, pulling every other. Oh, Lord. Yeah, you put his three, then they go get naked. <laughs> <laughs> the string attached to my pants. It's my drawstring. Uh, so that nigga got a trash bag out there, on. Melissa, y'all got a trash bag. Exactly. That's where you got it. Uh, so Snoop Dogg's working on a new movie. If you haven't heard about it, it's a comedy about a former NFL star who becomes a youth football coach. He has already enlisted Mike Epps, George Lopez, and Tika Sumter. Uh, to cast in this MGM film that is said to have an October 2023 release. It's called The Underdogs. So they're working, they're filming put, that movie now. Snoop, let me do something in that the movie. I just yeah, about to put Corey in that motherfucker back, yes. back that nigga Reggie White or somebody, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You up, no, man. let me be the nigga. In, hey, Snoop, listen. You could create this character. Just Please. let me sell hot dogs in the stands. Yes. Oh, I'ma tear them God. stands up. Boy, them niggas gonna be rolling in them stands. <laughs> oh, you ain't gonna buy, you, you need a hot dog in your mouth, bitch. <laughs> you suffering from withdrawals, deep throat heifer. Oh, see, that would work. That nigga, Instead uh, of a big perm, nigga, a nigga sell hot dogs with number Give me a big perm with the hot dog yeah, stand. Yeah, all, all, go. all you gotta do is create the character. Just, just let me go. I, man, when I did that movie uh, with with, with uh, Kevin Hart, the wedding ring, the wedding ring, and yes. that was my shit. Yes. Yeah. I would mm -hmm. beg them people for my takes when I was talking to this um, little, this young girl and this young boy. They was dating, and they just they just had me talking. I did the line, then after a while, they just said, "Just go," and I was like, "Hey, what's up, little girl, little boy?" <laughs> He break that hymen in yet? You know? Oh, oh man. Well, don't go home. Man. Your mama gonna be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, them motherfuckers carry me. <laughs> they was dying. I was like, I wish I could have that video, but it belonged to that company. Yeah. Maybe they might play it one day, like uh, when I'm old or something and shit. Oh, listen, man. When I be you, on movie sets, man, you I get had a flowers, whole man. camera crew rolling. Trust and believe Look, you gonna get Chico, your... Marcus, when you on that camera, I don't give a fuck if you ain't got number three lines in a movie. Mm -hmm. You mm. get them people them three lines twice. Then after that, you show them motherfuckers who you are. Yeah. Mm. 
You show them motherfuckers who you are so they could be like, this motherfucker crazy. Yeah. Now I ain't gonna lie, the star of the movie gonna be mad at you. You said the star of the movie gonna be mad at you. The star of the movie, right? gonna, be the movie gonna be mad at you when you show them who you are. Okay. Yeah, you but do a lot of auditions, nah, I thought you did. Okay. Don't hold back, dog. You should. If you on an audition, do not be in that, I'm not an audition. If you ever book something, you, book something. you in front of that camera, don't be shy, nigga. Mm. Don't be shy. I see shit like I did. I be like, I should have did this. Woo, woo, woo. But if I go on a movie set, I don't just practice that line they gave me. Mm-hmm. I practice the shit that I know would be funny in that moment. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, if you ever book some shit, especially if you're trying to be funny, mm-hmm. man, you better practice what the fuck you got to say. Because mm-hmm. they'll write that shit in. Be like, well, that's too good. We got to keep that. That's what you want to be known as. That's how Mike Epps got shit. Yeah. That's how motherfucking Chappelle got shit. Them motherfuckers are good when that camera rolling. I'm yeah. talking about dead ass, man. I just seen Mike Epps. I know he had lib in that shit. I'm like, that's his ad lib. Mm-hmm. That nigga's stupid right there. I wish I could see, man, that type of shit, man, if they really put it out, what let you know what was in the script and what wasn't so we can know what classic scenes was actually improv by niggas. That'd be uh-huh. dope to know. You hear the interviews and shit, but you don't never, they don't never just tell you. Do, do you um uh do, have you been in it? Any shows or films? Well, you just that just came out your mouth like you was gonna <laughs> have a seizure, nigga. Sibble it, did it, dibble it, sibble it, dibble it, dibble it. sound like a whisper in this bitch. Sibble it, dibble it. Yeah, I did some shit, man. I done did, you know, I done did a, a couple little low budget jumps. I'm actually in a movie that's great. Come out, uh, it's called a Dirty Third. It come out in uh November. It's a Houston classic movie. I would say that was a they, 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 uh, H-Town. Yeah, That's H-Town, old. yeah, yeah. So they redid ESG that, I'm in mean, that one, you know what I mean? But, yeah, all oh, the way, so, shit. you know, but I'm, you know, I'm learning, man. You know, I, like I said, coming through the game, you figure out and this, and pieces of advice like that be gems, man. Nigga be needing that. Most of them niggas in his position wouldn't up, tell baby? us that. Right. So, my so nigga you, coming down the stairs. Hey, my nigga. So they redoing we'll it the same, same exact way? Let me oh, give, yeah. let me, let me get this shout out. This is, we at the Coin Academy, home of the Baller Podcast. I ain't seen my nigga Layla in a Lay couple low. of weeks. You all right, baby? Good. That's what's, what's up, up, man. That motherfucking Layla. Part of the motherfucking real business in this motherfucker. That's the man up here. Mm-hmm. You, you going to the crib? Yeah, I'm good. All right, Joe. Respect, <laughs> man. All right. Nigga, Go Mac. Go Mac in this what motherfucker. Up, God damn it. My nigga. They got the whole nigga. That nigga just stood like, stood like the Dos Equis man over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's Trace Equis right there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, them, them good niggas though, man. <laughs> oh. Hold oh, yeah. on. You, you, who, you signed it, Bobo? Huh? Who you signed it, Bobo? Nah, I ain't Sonny Bobo. Who Sonny Bobo, man? I don't know. Uh, I forget who Sonny. I ain't gonna give it away. Okay, you know, okay, that okay. Yeah, right. Bobo, it's Bobo, gonna be hey, man, congratulations, bro. Yeah, 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 man, you know what I mean? It's congratulations. I just, I was excited to do it because I just got so much love for Houston, man, and, and H-Town and Texas in general, but especially Houston, man. Like, I love the city. I love the culture. And it's one of those cities that, you know, has you know, had a big influence on me coming up in the city of D.C., you know, because we had go-go music, and a lot of the music was influenced by the shit that came out the South. So mm-hmm. I always had love for H-Town, man. So it was an honor to do it, man. It was just some shit I decided that they were like, you sure? You want I'm like, man, listen, I'm going to do it just for the culture, man. That was love. And somebody, it was a fun Somebody experience. said Marcus is hungry for show. I hope he get his break one day. Marcus, let me tell you something, man. You're a great actor. But you gotta get out there, you said you Marcus is gone. a great actor. Yeah, if he, a if, star, if he get opportunities, a star, you will stand out at acting. You know what Marcus you're doing. Gonna be a star, you're man. a natural at acting. God damn. Boy, if you had some hair, man, get your ass God up, damn God <laughs> fucked you over with that shit. That but Marcus is gonna be in the little mermaid live. He just <laughs> gonna stand with his arms open, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna be the ocean in the little mermaid. They gonna be the dolphin. <laughs> 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 you know what? That'll be good. They need to do that. They're they gonna be the hammerhead shark. <laughs> that right. Well, for, what's the hammerhead shark off that movie? Uh, what was that? Uh, the cartoon movie? Was it Finding Nemo? Nemo. Oh, oh, that's my shit look like. <laughs> what else nigga said, I got on a sunflower pot as a fitted cap. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas stupid in that motherfucking chat room, nigga. Oh, last thing. No, last thing, I just want to say congrats to the homeboy, uh, Gabriel Iglesias. I was just asking about this. Remember I told you last week? 
that we went to his filming at the Dodger Stadium. He was the first and only comedian to sell out Dodger Stadium. Of course, he's from here, and he's Latino. So he, he, it's finally coming out on Netflix. They filmed it in May, the end of May. So congrats. He's, um, it'll be coming out, I think, the 18th of this month. So you can I, stream that on Netflix. I've been around a while. I have never hung around Gabriel Iglesias, but we always had that mutual respect. He always showed me love, man. Gabriel be popping up in some of my some shows. Show, I'll be right? laughing. I'll be like, hey, that's you, Gabe. I, one time he brought his sons and everything to see me. Gabriel, that shit was humongous selling out Dodger Stadium. That ain't no regular shit at all, dog. That's some, that's some shit to really be proud of, dog. I congratulate you, man. Salute. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's, that's right. amazing. Yeah, so Why? Right. Especially yeah. in your hometown. Like, yeah, to sell we out went, some I shit went. in your it hometown is hard to do. Was it oh, one I show or was it a couple? Bob. It was one. Yeah, she just said he was from here. Gave yeah, he's from here. From and, and he, oh, it was shit. one show. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, do you know what it means to sell out Dodger Stadium? How many, how many seats is that? Hey, man, Dodger Stadium. What, what's bigger than Dodger Stadium out here? Here? Is the Rose Bowl bigger than Dodger Stadium? So far? I mean, the Dodger Stadium, that's one of the biggest so venues is, out right? here. SoFi is bigger, yeah. yeah. SoFi bigger? Yeah. SoFi, yeah. yeah but okay. he's a Dodger fan, too, so it was all kind of, you know, related. Oh, like he, it feels good to be one of the motherfuckers did one of the motherfucking first shows at SoFi, God damn it. Oh, I, cool. I got to ask, how was the show in Chicago, <laughs> man? How that shit Man, go? that shit in you Chicago too. was blazing, dog. Yeah, that I shit was, was blazing. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I wish we were shooting wild and out, man, but if I could have made it, I would have came out there for that. Chico, man. if you ever do a hometown show, cut I your, got one coming up. In, cut your in, phone November, off. At the MGM and Cut DC. your phone off the day before. And don't cut it back on till the show is done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah That's Trust me, bro. If you're doing a hometown show, cut your phone off the day he before. Oh, don't cut knows. it back on till the show is on. Everybody you supposed to get tickets to, that's going to be set up anyway. But I'm saying, like, I, this is the one thing I did in Chicago. I kept tending to my people. Hey, hey, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And it ain't like, like they doing nothing wrong. It's just they don't understand. I wasn't on my square. I was mm. too worried about my people. But the show was still funny. Mm -hmm. And I done thought of some jokes in Chicago. I wish you I could have did in Chicago. In Chicago yeah. cause I got some killers now because I did Atlantic City this week. And I'm here to tell you, man, Atlantic City, will y'all tell these motherfuckers what really happened on motherfucking Saturday night out there? They put me up first. What? What? They put me up first. Hold on, who's first. on the lineup? Um, I, um, the lineup, it was um, Gary Owens. I talked to Gary. Gary said he gonna come on the show. Okay. Oh, after nice. after after he get his his divorce shit straight. <laughs> nah, yeah, he know not to come on here before. <laughs> yeah, don't come <laughs> on here before, Gary. Yeah, well, come on here before they're gonna be using this footage in that nigga court case. <laughs> right. Let this oh, man no. call your ex-wife yes. a funky bitch. And <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna do that. I like I like Gary and his ex-wife. I used to fuck with both up. No, nah, that's a joke. That's a joke. That was done as a joke. Uh, my nigga Bruce Bruce. I love Bruce Bruce. Bruce Bruce is the smoothest, mellowest motherfucker in comedy. I don't never see him in no drama. Um, he always you go to, go to, go back there with Bruce. Bruce. What's up, player? You all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he be smiling while he talking too. He a good spirit. He be the just eight. He cool. He is yeah, nice. my partner over the floor. And then Tommy Davidson was on the show too. Tommy was in a good mood. I'm so glad he was in a good mood because you know Tommy Davidson like. Tommy Davidson is another motherfucker. He remind me like a Cat Williams. Okay. Listen, man, these motherfuckers are actually brilliant. Uh -huh. But I think sometimes they let the stress of the world get to them and shit happens, mm -hmm. if you know what I'm saying. I just right. uploaded but, his Audible book. I yeah, heard it's really Tommy good. Tommy Davidson, like he, yeah, he when, when he out. of clear mind, Tommy Davidson is actually motherfucking brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. That mm -hmm. motherfucker be coming up with some good shit with them sounds and shit. Cause oh I had on my, God. my hat sort of like this and all that shit. That nigga started filming his phone next to me with that pimp music. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> had me say something while I was walking. Jeez, it was right. funny. Post that shit, Tommy. That's funny. Hey man, we had a ball Who out closed? there, man. I think they let Tommy close. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I cool. man, look. But I ain't gonna lie, man. My set was something I was proud of. I'm, I'm finna, I'm finna film a DVD again. It's time I get a world something. Mm -hmm. Even if I thought I could get it 
through the streaming services. And I know they got that shit called Tubi where you can put your own shit up. Mm -hmm. That's what I'll probably do. Yeah, you need to give us another classic. Man, like, I'm gonna get a game. I'm gonna get the a game. The problem is you world is a game. classic, man. man. Look, well, are we gonna try oh, yeah, the, all of them classic, yeah. but that's uh -huh. just what, what I was introduced yeah, to Corey by that, that the problem is you. If you ain't never that's seen Corey Holcomb, the, prior, the problem is you. Do yourself a favor and watch that. Mm. Oh, classic, yeah. man. Did we get a beat? Good. Then we gotta get a beat that we motherfuckers. No, this is what we finna do. We ain't did this in a while. We gonna take a break. Five minute break. I didn't bought the and break then back. And we coming right yeah. back. <laughs> and we finna do this motherfucking Put song while Chico on this motherfucker. Five minutes. Put your time on now. We'll be back in five minutes. Fifty one fifty.
in the house, this thing in your mouth, check it out. Motherfucker, got this music for y'all ass. Motherfucker, we about to, you know how we have fun. Give me that motherfucking beat, nigga. We ain't got to bring this shit in formally. Let's just run with it. Slow ass nigga. Yeah. Motherfucker. Hey, come on with it. We got a motherfucking song. We ain't did a song in a while, motherfucker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, is, is they gonna bring that motherfucker in or what? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. It's a slow beat, so the rap should come and we shouldn't be defeated. You dig what I'm saying? It's real simple. I ain't got to bullshit with it. Come on. Uh. I ain't fucking with a child that's raised by a bitch. No, no. Yeah. Give me custody of my child or fuck that shit. Yo, what they saying, Chico? Check. If I don't love your mama, sorry, dog. But I ain't fucking with you. There you go. Oh, oh. Come on, one more time. If I don't love your mama, sorry, dog. But I ain't fucking with you. Oh, oh. Check it out. Your mama kept you this time. But I'm about to drop dime. That bitch that killed so many of your brothers and sisters, the bitch is really a dirty ass swine. It seemed like I'm the bad guy because I speak my mind. Your mama ain't even that fine, so I don't give a fuck what that bitch talking about. Me and your life, homie, I highly doubt. I don't love your mama. I don't Sorry, love your mama. dog. I ain't fucking with you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ooh, ooh. If I don't love your mama. Sorry, dog. I ain't fucking with you. Uh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, what's up? Hey. I thought I was gonna make it. Thought your mama could take it. Seen her walking butt naked. And I wanted to stroke, so I came over to her house on a late night. Yeah. Put it in a motherfucking face, right? Yeah. Hit her with that boom. Now much later than came you. Yeah, but I nigga. don't fuck with her, though. I ain't fucking with her. Cause she's a no. dirty ass hoe. <laughs> so I got to go. I'm going to the store. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't coming with back no, kids no more. Raised by a bitch. I got to go. Hey. If you ask me where I go, tell her I'm going to the store. Oh, whoa. If Did I don't your love mama your mama, tell you that I fucked her the day that I met her. <coughs> I One more used thirty dollars to get her. One more time. Did your that mama bitch tell pussy you? Wasn't hot. When it was hot, wasn't no snot, the pussy was dry, I ain't gonna lie. I hit that bitch in the eye. I don't love your mama. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, dog, but I ain't fucking with you. Yeah, nigga. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Yeah. If I don't love your mama, sorry, dog, but I ain't fucking with you. I ain't fucking with you. We about to bring this Arkansas oh, rap in. Oh, oh. Arkansas, what you get? Oh, shit. And then turn for the words. <laughs> Here go Marcus with his legendary verse. Keep it going, nigga. Yeah, boy. Man, I got a bitch so damn fine. The bitch so fine. I'm finna get this bitch my damn bloodline. You got oh. blood in the home? Hey. Spirit from the back. <laughs> you know, touching her spine. That's Ooh. what she said, huh? Hey, bitch. Yo ass is mine. Yo ass is mine. I don't love yo your mama. mama. I don't love Sorry, you. Sorry, dog. But I ain't fucking with you. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, ooh. If I don't, I don't love yo your mama. mama. Sorry, dog. But I ain't fucking with you. Uh. Corey, what'd you say on that last one? You say, did your mama tell you what? Did your mama tell you I fucked you on the first day I met her? Get that one more time. We got to hear that one more time. Uh -huh. Did your mama tell you I fucked her the first day I met her? It was easy to get her. Mm. I never had respect for the bitch. She did a good job sucking my dick. <coughs> but after I nutted, I said, bitch, it's quitch. <laughs> I got to go. 
I got a way better hoe. She got cable in the house. Keep my dick in her mouth. I ain't got to watch Ion all night, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that, that's that core y'all 5150 <laughs> in the motherfucking house. Chico, come in. If I don't love yeah, your mama, I don't sorry, love dog, dog, but I ain't, I ain't fucking with, with you. I ain't fucking with you. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Ooh, ooh. If I don't love your mama, sorry, dog, but I ain't fucking with you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's up with the likes? How we do on the likes? Are we behind? <laughs> nah, we in it. Oh, we in there, man. What up with what how many people's that's in the chat room today? 3,000. That's what's happening. 9,000 in the chat room. Let me tell you this. Hey, chat room, man. This is everybody. hard work right here. This hey, is hard work, man. Everybody up. out there, man. Hey, I be, uh, we be in Sacramento on Thursday for the 85 South Show, then I'll be in Milwaukee the 14th and the 15th. I forget the name of the comedy club, but if you're in Milwaukee, nigga, come through, man. It's that new club in Milwaukee. Yeah, the new club. I heard that motherfucker oh, fine, yeah. dog. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's yeah. what it is, you know? I don't know what it is, but I know nigga is Milwaukee and we go. coming out there, man. They gonna you know come I mean? fuck with you, 85 mm -hmm. South. All the way. With 5150 in the house, they'll be there. All 5150, the y'all shout hey, out Chico. 5150, I love y'all, man. There's no when you see me, it's 5150 Nation forever with me, wow. man. I'm, I'm gonna post there. some old school photos of us. Oh yeah, yeah, you got yeah. to. You, you got, got to. You got some old yeah. photos of oh, Chico? Yeah, yeah man. He be having them photos. At the old studio, yeah. Tomorrow, Marcus, what's happening? Mainstream, M-A-N-E-S-T-R-E-A-M, man, on YouTube, man. Pull up on me, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hit that subscribe button. Then y'all know I'm headlining the Tampa Improv on the 23rd, man. So if you Word. in Florida, yeah. Man, that's what's yeah, up. Yeah, man. man. What's up, man? man. Oh, man, I seen probably. that clip with your draw, with your pass split, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga. This nigga got an OnlyFans moment on the motherfucking comedy show, nigga. Stretch pants, <laughs> former league, <laughs> having that. Good promotion. Darlene, yeah. you say you got some photos last time we was with my brother Chico, right? Oh, I got a couple of them. He, uh, every we go, time he We gonna came, post them up? Yep, I'll post them up. Gonna that make sure we take a picture in front of the big screen. Yeah. Oh, the big screen off, ain't it? We'll figure it all out. Yeah. It's all to the good. We about to wrap the show up. We don't give a fuck. What they say? Upcoming shows. Hey, I, is the next one? That's the one? No, yeah. that's coming up in Detroit. Y'all motherfuckers, we added another show to this one, I heard. Oh, that's in December. Fox Theater. Fox Theater. That's Detroit the fuck one. with us here motherfucking time, man. Bruce City yep. Laugh-a-thon. We got this motherfucker this coming up one. right here. On the, okay, the Friday, 20th. October 28th. <laughs> God not. damn it. Corey motherfucking Hokum. That's how I'm gonna be looking at that nigga, just like that. Oh, <laughs> man. Halloween oh, weekend. God damn, be Halloween man. Weekend. <laughs> Jesus. Halloween I was weekend. hoping I made it out of here and it didn't ah. get come up. God damn. I got a crazy joke. <laughs> <laughs> you can't hear Tico. He said he squashed, well, squashed with Pierre, man. So oh, word. Maybe we can, get, maybe we can down, get him man. and Quake you know to saying? figure it out, man. If he can squash with Pierre, man, he can squash with Quake. Damn, man. You know what I mean? It's different, though. Pierre, I don't feel like it's the same type of shit. I believe that shit is envy because yeah. I'm the best. See, I do a little different than the rest. My man Earthquake, he got into his feelings and made the shit set the fuck off. But I ain't <laughs> mad at the nigga. But you gotta understand, I'ma be bigger, but if he come rolling his eyes like a bitch, motherfucker, you gonna feel a nigga. <laughs> hey man. See Hulk in the house, about to rip out, that man. stage. Mm -hmm. No Love doubt. Y'all niggas. They got me oh, hosting, though, man. They got you me hosting. Oh, my God, nigga, man. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, my yes. God. I got to bring a nigga on stage, man. Hey, man. I'm going to have to come down there, man. It's a Midwest nigga doing this show. He know what it is. <laughs> Corey hosting, and I will be oh, roasted, and I will be boasted. Cause talently I'm gonna be coasting. Now I don't know what the fuck another nigga gonna do. Oh, but if God. you ain't funny, you gonna be through. Cause they gonna be seeing a nigga like me throughout the whole motherfucking show. So get your jokes together, motherfucker. Let's oh, go. Hey, God. nigga, coldest nigga in the game. I know what this is. You don't use that intro no more. I knew that nigga had something, man. <laughs> <laughs> bring that back. Oh, yeah, that's what Zoe was That's what that. my nigga Zoe was here, man. I knew you had something, man. <laughs> Man, I might have to come to that one, man. Oh, you. You're going to be hosting. Hey, I don't think I've never seen you host, nigga. It's in Milwaukee. I'm, I'm, 
I ain't hosted in a long time. Damn, you can't even remember. I think I'm gonna come It's gonna be hard man. for me to host. I'm gonna come out there, man. They might switch it up. If you host, I'm coming out there. When I say they might switch it up, once they find out I'm hosting, motherfuckers gonna be like, oh, uh, uh, hey, hey. <laughs> dog, I'm a motherfucker. I'm gonna tear that motherfucker up. Milwaukee ain't seen me in years, dog. I'm about to motherfucker hit that motherfucker, dog. Oh my God, with his gee, his gee is over it's here. It's like Boston ain't seen me in a while. Them niggas was, yeah, you did the will, but didn't you? Yeah, I did the yeah, will. I gotta show I got, up there too. At the man, will, I got but some then. new bits I'm proud of, dog. I'm talking about some shit that's man, strong. Man, listen, man, you a motherfucker on that stage, Corey, man. Hey, I'm man, telling you, man. You, Straight bro. up, man. The shit that you say, nigga, niggas don't have the heart to say that shit in front of nobody, let alone on a microphone, nigga. Oh, yeah, man. Nigga, I'm telling you, man. Salute to you, man. You one of the biggest influences in this they game. They say Earthquake man. gonna flirt with Marcus. <laughs> no, they didn't oh, say that, oh nigga. <laughs> nigga, Marcus gonna drown that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hug that nigga. If Marcus hug you, you gonna cry whether you want to or not. They, they said your chain's gonna host it. <laughs> Somebody said my chain <laughs> gonna host it. Nigga, she gonna look up to, to holly at you. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Break my neck. I work with a nigga that motherfucking got issues with me because I ain't got the issues they got. Cause I'm finna go up there and rip that motherfucker. Even if a motherfucker talk about me, you can't stop me, nigga. By the time oh, you get up there, motherfucker, yeah, hosting, you gotta gonna... watch out, cause a host can come back out after everyone. They like, gonna feel oh, me, dog. Oh. They gonna feel me, dog. Oh, I ain't worried about it. Oh, I gotta give a shout out to the man, the man, nigga Gooch the Great, man. Salute to Gooch the Great, man. That nigga there has Gooch been the a Great. I might have to have Gooch start regulating this chat room again. Oh, yeah. We yeah, niggas have, been in there talking shit. Gay niggas, in Nig there. niggas been talking shit the whole time. Chico ain't funny. Marcus ain't this. Dig him oh, like, yeah. nigga, oh, and you amazing. are at home on a laptop that you probably sounds like an air mattress <laughs> when you open it up. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They got a gateway computer at the crib. <laughs> Fuck out of here, nigga. Oh. They, they call it Marcus the Flood. That shit <laughs> nigga. That shit might stick. <laughs> the flood in this bitch. You dressed like you survived one, nigga. <laughs> sexy, nigga, look. Hey, hey, this is dedicated to all y'all mamas out no, there, nigga. Oh, here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Hey, oh, nigga, it's oh, time to go. This hey. nigga tripping. Oh. <laughs> nigga, how nigga go? If I didn't fuck your mama, <laughs> that bitch must have found a way to make it on her own. <laughs> but the other bitch is getting this bone. Yeah. If I didn't fuck your mama, that bitch must have found a way to make, make it, it on, on her own. own. But them Fuck other hoes, the they bone. get the bone. Yeah. <laughs> All the bitches that ain't doing well, my nuts, they gonna smell. Cause I pay like I weigh, and this is what I got to say. Bitch, I go this 200, yeah, now go on about your way away. Stop mm -hmm. asking me. Burlington Co Factory <laughs> is where you going. I don't care if it's snowing. Yeah. That nigga Corey gonna get you a hot 200 and roll out on your ass. Gonna give you $200, even if you don't let him smash, cause he know you need it. I know I need it. <laughs> need it. The bitch need it, nigga. He know you need it. That bitch need you, it. You looking defeated. This is what I got to say. I like taking bitches to Walmart and let them fill up the whole basket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Walmart. Because oh, yeah, the yeah. ass get after I take a hoe to the grocery store. <laughs> Everybody know that my dick's about to flow. <laughs> Whoa. Take a hoe to the grocery store. Got to take your hoe to the grocery store. Got to take your hoe to the grocery store. Got to take the hoe to the grocery store. <laughs> Taking bitches to the place that they would not be able to afford. Cause she's a whore. Every bitch I fuck with ain't doing well in life. I'm talking about your wife. I'm talking about your wife. I love when a broke bitch walk in the house with the bags that I bought her. Cause I caught her walking down the street. Her throat, I slaughter. Yeah, you thought I wasn't gonna find no word for that one, did you? You thought I was stuck, motherfucker. Oh, look, yeah. just about to hurt. Uh oh, say it again, Marcus, what you say? Oh, look, bitch, just about to hurt. That nigga said uh -oh. what? You about to get jumped on by Eddie LaFerge. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs>
<laughs> That's right, goddamn. <laughs> after I put my hat on, after I fuck your bitch, this is how I be when I leave their house. <laughs> Thank you, man. Tip your hat to her. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If anybody's looking for anything good to do this weekend, Saturday, come down to the Miracle Theater. We'll be there dancing. I'm coming. Once again. Miracle Theater. I'm finally about to go to this shit. Please. See all but of. you got to dance. I already, See all the already, elderlies get I already in. know the older woman that's gonna hit on Marcus. I already know because she was actually, <laughs> she was actually bummed that you and your mom didn't show up that two weeks ago. Yeah, she was like, Marcus, what she look like dude? you got to wear that, I'm Marcus. Not huh? I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna watch it happen because oh, I'm shit. pretty sure because she was like they didn't come. She came up to me at like 12:30. She was like, Marcus's mom. Or Them Marcus old hoes <laughs> like Marcus style. <laughs> <laughs> Them clothes he wear no, ain't she, been out in a bad. while. She's not bad at all. Them old hoes <laughs> like Marcus Style. Oh, there you go. Thanks, Neil, for that. Yeah, it'll be Sammy fun. Davis Jr. wore that shit yeah, as a it child. Is. It's going to be fun. Be prepared to dance. That's all I'm saying. Oh, and by the way, oh, my God. I got these tights from Walmart. Oh, you did? He want to show everybody her tights. Let I everybody see them. your tights. Dude. I get a lot of tights from Walmart. Let them see your tights. They're, 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 that um, ass ain't right. It's the uh. Let them see. Oh the yeah, this, <laughs> this nigga right <laughs> there just put the lotion out she when you did that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga just pulled that lotion nigga, out in the nigga, chat nigga, room. Nigga was like, oh, nigga rewind about to and fast forward. This nigga shit. about to pause it with your <laughs> leg up on the galaxy. I love all women over fifty been pissing all day. <laughs> That's not true. All women over fifty been pissing all day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, man! I swear to God, I love it. What they say? <laughs> Goddamn cold, don't start. The what don't start? Don't you start? Man, oh, Mark, it be sound like you talking in cursive. Man. <laughs> 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 you say that nigga sound like he's talking in cursive. <laughs> so start the first, nigga. <laughs> these ain't shit, man. <laughs> I want to send a shout out to all the niggas, niggas who shit. thought right. the 5150 would end as I lost friends. Motherfucker, we just begin. God damn it. 9,000 in the chat room. We win. 5150. Yeah. 5150 with Chico Bean in yeah. the house. Yeah. Ain't no doubt. I love you, little brother. We about to be out. Love. Mm -hmm. hey. 5150. Peace. Straight up. Stay safe, hey. everybody. Family. <laughs>